Hey Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome across watchers. I'm going to take a look at your connection with you and your person. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. Also, the energies can be reversed. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave the information down below. So, what is Scorpio's overall energy towards their person in this connection? We have letting go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally, and codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so I feel like somebody um, has a tendency to like to control things, manipulate things, and they have a hard time kind of just going with the flow here, which adds codependency into this connection. So what is this person's overall energy towards Scorpio here? What is this person's overall energy towards Scorpio? We have wedding. This situation involves marriage. So a higher form of commitment here. Okay, so I feel like uh, for some of you, you may, uh, you may be the one that wants a con uh, commitment here from this person, a higher form. And you may be trying to control this situation when there's a need for you to just kind of go with the flow. So how does Scorpio view this connection with their person? Like for example, you know, if you do magic, um, candle magic, that is a form of trying to control and manipulate. So if you're doing that, I would recommend to stop. So how does Scorpio view this? connection we have judgment the knight of swords and strength okay so I feel like you've been patient you've been waiting for some type of movement here I feel like for some of you you, you may want another chance with this person you want to rush in you want to communicate with them could have been a long time since you guys have communicated or and it could just be that there's barely communication, but I feel like mostly you're not in communication. The reason why I'm saying that is because I'm seeing judgment here, and that is about second chances and kind of looking back. So I feel like you're looking back at this situation and you're coming to a lot of realizations here, and you're realizing where you played a part that could have been toxic in this connection and then where this person played a part so I feel like you're looking at your own faults as well as this person here and you're wanting to talk things out you want some type of clarity and uh, I feel like you want some closure when it comes to this person here could be dealing with a Leo a Libra tell me about strength we have the six of pentacles so I feel like you've been strong in this situation where maybe things were just imbalanced in the past and you've been trying to stay strong here trying to keep it together and I feel like for, as well like you're also wanting to find the courage to talk to this person uh, wanting to give to this connection wanting to balance things out by talking to them here so I feel like you're trying to find the courage to basically come in fearlessly like the knight of swords is and See where things go here moving forward. Seeing if there's anything that will change. So how does this person view this connection with Scorpio? How does this person view this connection with Scorpio? I'm hearing like if I could do it all over again, I would. But differently. So... How does this person view this connection with Scorpio? How does this person view this connection with Scorpio? We have the Empress, the Four of Cups, and we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so I feel like in your person, um, I feel like they're regretting a situation where maybe they rejected you okay and now they're disappointed in the fact that they did that and they didn't take this new beginning with you because they do see you as 
an empress here so they do see you as somebody who has the potential to be a wife or husband material okay and I feel like they're regretting not taking this opportunity with you and wanting to take it back if they can go back and do it differently they would so I feel like your person wants to come in and apologize but they feel like it would be hard for them to try to salvage something out of this situation Tell me about the Five of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and then we have the Knight of Swords. So, yeah, your person, they're, like, feeling really guilty about this. They're not able to let it go, and they kind of wish they, they could come in and just rush in and communicate that to you. But something is holding them back here. Could be money. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Ace of Wands. Yeah, your person is wanting a new beginning with you, um, but they're lacking the optimism to come forward and give you a, and send you a message. Like they're feeling like if they were to send you a message, it wouldn't be reciprocated well and you would just end up rejecting them. So because of that, they're not feeling that optimistic about it. They're feeling like their chances are not that great here. So, how does Scorpio feel about this connection with their person? How does Scorpio feel about this connection with their person? We have the world. King of Cups. And we have the sun. So I feel like you're starting to lose hope here. I feel like you're losing your, your patience at this point. You're losing hope that there's going to be a new beginning with you guys. A new cycle here where there is going to be a lot of love. Um, I do see that you do love this person. We do have the king of cups here. And you want a new beginning with them because you see them as the world here. This person that you're dealing with could be somebody who could be a public figure. Somebody who is just very popular. Tell me about the world. The lovers. Yeah, you want commitment here. And you want to close a cycle where things were basically karmic. So you want to close these patterns, karmic cycles. And you want to move on from that. And you want to have this commitment here. You want a relationship with this person because you love them. And you see them as your world. And you're, that's what you want, but you're not that hopeful about it. Also, I'm seeing that for some reason you could be dealing with another Scorpio, but you do have Leo. Tell me about the King of Cups. Tell me about the King of Cups. The Emperor could be dealing with an Aries. I feel like you're trying to uh, control your feelings here, but you're 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 losing the power over here like you're trying to contain how you feel about this person with the emperor and you wish that you could communicate that to your person how you truly feel but you feel like you don't have the power in this situation to to do anything about it i feel like you feel like the power is in this person's hand if they're the ones that want to have a relationship and want to be open and honest and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and just be able to kind of talk about your feelings to one another you feel like it's this person's job to come forward now and to be open here and for in order for you to to be the one to express how you feel about this person but I do really feel like you want something new with with them how does this person feel about Scorpio and this connection. How does this person feel about Scorpio and this connection? The Nine of Wands. Okay. King of Cups. And we have the Nine of Swords. Wow. Clarify Ace of Swords and Knight of Cups. So you guys are mirroring each other. You guys both love each other. Okay, the, I see that the love is mutual here, but your person doesn't trust you. 
with the nine of wands and they're losing their mind over you at this point i feel like they're losing their mind here because they know that they lost out on something good and they know that they missed out on an opportunity that could have been uh, committed and now that they're coming to the realization and clarity and having an awakening about their true feelings for you with a knight of cups um they're wanting to come in to apologize and to just charm you and to be that prince charming of yours but like again they don't feel like their their chances with you are that great here and they're going crazy about you they're in mental agony about it they're losing sleep over it and um they're thinking about you basically all day long here Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Wow, okay, so there could have been a third party situation here. Um, to clarify the Nine of Wands on your person's side, we have 3-3. Three, three. So maybe you're seeing that 3-3, three, 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 but your person uh, feels like they're an option okay they felt like they were an option and because of that reason they are just scared as hell they are they don't trust you even if they do have a lot of love for you they they don't feel like their chances are that great because they feel like you have other people involved here. Whether you do, whether you don't, like I'm just the messenger. This is how they're feeling. Um, they they feel like you have other options. They feel like you put them in a third party situation. Whether you did or you didn't, that's just how they're feeling. And because of that, they're, they're really worried about it. They're worried that you put them in that third party situation. And they're losing their shit here because they truly love you with the King of Cups. So what actions will Scorpio most likely take towards their person here? What actions will Scorpio most likely take towards their person here? We have the Ten of Cups, okay page of cups and we have the eight of wands okay so I do see you communicating with this person I feel like you're gonna give this person an offer of love I feel like there's gonna be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here because I do feel like you want to have this happily ever after this long-term commitment with this person here okay I feel like for some of you you could be dealing with someone that is the same sex here okay that's kind of what i'm feeling but i see communication and for some of you you're going to end up apologizing to this person maybe by the way that you kind of handled the situation trying to control things and um i feel like you are looking back and seeing where you played a part here and i feel like you're going to be apologizing about it okay Tell me about the Eight of Wands. The Magician. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be basically... I feel like you're still going to try to manifest this person into your life here. But you're... At this point, like, there's a need for you to kind of stop doing that. Or if you are doing that, um, I would do it in more gen in a more general sense here. So not just to this person, but to people in general, people that are meant to be in your life here. Because I feel like once you're starting to focus on that one person with your manifestations, you're adding a lot of delays and blockages because the timing isn't right. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Yeah, I feel like with the right timing and patience, there is going to be this conversation, okay, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I feel like you're going to let this person know how you truly feel. I feel like you're going to let them know that they are a wish fulfillment to you. You do love them, and you want to see where things go here. I feel like your, your intentions are good with this person. 
and even though maybe you're, you are trying to control the situation a little bit, um, your intentions aren't bad. I feel like it's just because you love this person so much that you just want them in your life. But again, you can't, there's some, cer there's certain, certain things that you just can't control. Um, certain things that need to happen first in order for this Ten of Cups. So, how does, what actions will this person most likely take towards Scorpio in this connection? Eight of Cups, Knight of Cups, and then we have the Devil. Yeah, so I feel like your person is going to come in as well. You guys are both going to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And I feel like you're going to basically communicate to this person how you feel. But you're showing up as a page because you don't want to come off too strong. But in reality, you're a king of cups here. And uh, your person showing up as a knight, they're going to probably come on a little stronger than you. But you guys both, <laughs> you guys both like, uh, you guys both love each other equally here, okay? But you're trying not to come off too strong, but you, you can't fool me. <laughs> um, I also feel like they're going to be apologizing to you, um, basically, by maybe a toxic situation that they put you in, or basically they are going to express to you their fears in this in this connection here so i feel like your person um has had relationships in the past where they were the ones that were cheated on here and because of that reason they feel like they can't trust anybody and whether or not you did anything to this person or put them in a third party situation they feel like you are but that's because of their past not because of you and i feel like they're going to be expressing that to you that they have a lot of fears here in this in this relationship or about commitment because of their past okay and I feel like they're even going to be apologizing for it but I feel like this heart-to-heart -heart conversation is really going to change things here it's going to change the, dy the dynamic and I feel like you're going to get a lot more clarity than you had before because I feel like you didn't know in the past why this person was being so stubborn and once you have this conversation you're going to start to realize um that that um, they have a lot of deep, deep, deep abandonment issues, okay, as well here with the Eight of Cups. They have a lot of fears here, and I feel like um, you're going to have to reassure this person a lot, okay? This is somebody who needs reassure reassurance, okay? Somebody that needs to feel safe and secure, okay? So that's kind of what I'm getting for you guys. I'm going to get some clarifications that this is somebody's reading any clarifications that this is somebody's reading any clarifications that this is somebody's reading have short term so you, you could have been you could have had like a short um, reconciliation with this person they're in and out of your life soulmate I did see that when I was like shuffling so this could be a deep connection you may feel like this is your soulmate could be your soulmate here dark male so somebody who is dark for their cultural background or a dark male and we have true love so this is true love here so you guys both feel like this is true love um I feel like you guys haven't expressed it but I feel like I feel like in, intuitively you know that this is your soulmate okay I feel like in, in your intuition is telling you that this is your soulmate here and that this is true love with this dark male okay so that's what I'm getting for you guys if you like this reading please comment like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos and let me know if it resonated and I hope that you found guidance and clarity, okay? Thank you for watching. Bye.